Oh, where are you going, little kitty? Kitty swims. Well, not at Niagara Falls. Bye. Why don't you see yourself? <laughs> hey, friends, I know, just like kitty, we all want to explore the depths of Niagara Falls. So in today's episode, let us dive into its bottom and answer a deep question. What if you fell into Niagara Falls? Zoom in! Niagara Falls is a group of three waterfalls that spreads across the borders of Canada and the United States. But the most famous and largest amongst the three is the Canadian Horseshoe Falls which is about 187 feet tall and 2,200 feet wide. And what's even more fascinating about it is that around 700,000 gallons of water drop down Niagara Falls every second with an incredible speed of 109 kilometers per hour. So, Considering its power, force and speed, it is hard to imagine anyone falling in it could beat the odds of survival. But surprisingly, some lucky folks have managed to survive. Yes, and the first person to do so was Annie Edson Taylor. In 1921, on a 63rd birthday, she sat into an oak and iron barrel and floated high over the edge of the falls, which later inspired many other daredevils to follow in her footsteps. Then, in 1928, a Canadian-American stuntman called Jean Lucier crawled in a six-feet rubber and steel ball lined with 32 inner tubes. He took the fall and managed to survive the impact but not everyone who dared to attempt this insane stunt of jumping into the Niagara lived to tell the story. Yes, till now only five people have survived an unguarded drop to the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. The first one was in 1960 when a seven-year-old boy, Roger Woodward, met with a boating accident that swept him towards the edge of the fall. Fortunately, he suffered some minor head injuries and was released from the hospital in just three days. Because of this, the incident is still referred to as Miracle at Niagara. But not everyone is so lucky and that's why we need some survival tactics to survive this great fall if for any reason you find yourself dropping down the Niagara Falls or any other waterfalls. Well, in case you find yourself over the edge of Niagara, take a deep breath before you fall and as you fall, make sure to land feet first to avoid your head getting hit by tightening your muscles and folding your hands around your head with your elbows over your nose. And before you enter the plunge pool, make your body watertight by bringing your legs together and shutting your eyes and mouth just before the impact. If you're lucky, you will survive the fall, but the challenge is not over yet. Yes, the temperature below the fall will be around the freezing point and you'll have not more than 15 minutes to get out of the dark and bubbly water before hypothermia kicks in. And even if the person manages to come up, there are greater chances of them suffering injuries resulting from extreme water impact like broken rib cages, ruptured heart and blood vessels and other major organ damages. So, it is always advisable to follow the safety instructions if you don't want to face the intense power of nature. Trivia time! Did you know Niagara Falls provides about 20% of US drinking water? Yes, not only that, 
but it also produces about one-fourth of the electricity for New York and the Canadian province of Ontario. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Kitty? Kitty? Where are you? Mind it!